In this video, I'm going to share with you five tips to make YouTube videos faster. Welcome to Underwater, the go-to channel to find the best creator for any topics you're looking for. If you're serious about your YouTube career, you will watch this video until the end. Watching videos of people that just started on YouTube, like myself, is fundamental to your growth, since you're gonna learn a lot from my mistakes and my successes. The moment that I stopped goofing around on YouTube and took a serious position, I started noticing right away a good traffic going into my channel. That told me that I was going on the right direction. Also, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss out on any future content like this. A complete list of creators, tools, and websites will be listed on the description box below. Make sure to take advantage of it. And as a bonus tip, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you why the notification bell is so important for people starting on YouTube and why it should be your best friend moving forward. Making videos for YouTube can be a tedious process and sometimes really overwhelming. If we don't follow certain rules, the whole experience can turn into a nightmare. YouTube is filled with creators that will tell you that they have the formula to be successful at YouTube, that you don't need anything else but to watch their videos. You do need to watch videos of successful creators, but you need more than just that. When you go to school, for example, only one book doesn't have everything you need to know about your career, right? Let's take a closer look to my five steps to make YouTube videos faster. Step number one to make YouTube videos faster, preparation. A lot of people tend to overlook this step. Some people might think that just because they are very eloquent off camera, it will be the same when making YouTube videos. This is a mistake. Preparation makes the master. You need to know your weaknesses. When you are a beginner, like myself, you need to recognize that. My biggest problem is my speech. For example, <clears throat> Yo puedo ser un interlocutor sumamente elocuente cuando hablo en español. ¿Sí? English is my second language. Therefore, as a respect to my audience, I do my best to prepare myself before each and every video. Make sure you have a script for everything you are going to say. Do your homework. You can never be too informed. The more you know about a subject, the better you will look in front of your audience. Remember, you don't know who is watching your videos. Step number two to make YouTube videos faster, location. This step is directly related to step number one. Having a set location will save you a lot of time when making your YouTube videos. Regardless of your content, you should set your mind on a specific location. Let's say, for example, that your channel is about nature. Then you don't have to worry about any specific location, right? Wrong. If that's the case, you should be even more prepared. If you are wandering around in nature, your audience will notice it right away. And most likely, they'll click away from your channel. Having a set location will show your audience that you know what you're talking about because you're gonna look prepared. Also, by selecting a location before you start your project, you'll be saving a lot of time. Step number three to make YouTube videos faster, recording. I know, this is a video about making videos, but the way that you record your videos should be done thinking on the editing process. Doing this will allow you to record only the footage that you will need for that particular project which means less time recording. Regardless of which application or software you are using to edit your videos, you should record your videos in a way that helps you cut the editing time. If you don't have someone to help you with the recording process, you should mirror your phone or your camera to your computer. If you need help mirroring your video, I will also leave a link in the description box below for apps that can help you to mirror your phone to your computer. For most camera, you can do that by simply linking the Bluetooth on your camera to your phone and by being connected to the same internet source. Make visual references during your recording process, so you don't have to be going back and forth trying to find a take that you want to use for your YouTube video. You can do this by making simple sign like this. Step number four to make YouTube videos faster, B-roll. The way you tell your story is what's going to keep your audience watching your videos until the end. For that, you need a lot of support footage and audio. Collecting those can take a long time when editing your videos. There are a lot of resources available for free online. I will give you the link to a few websites where you can find free to use B-roll and music. When you're starting on YouTube like myself, Finding the free and legal material to use in our videos can add to the time we are going to spend doing one project. This can only contribute to discourage you from making other videos. As soon as you know what your next project is going to be about, 
set aside the music and the videos you're going to need for that particular project. If after you're done with your videos, you are not satisfied with the result, at this point, making changes should be easier and faster since you already have framed the main idea. Step number five to make YouTube videos faster, editing. Like I mentioned before, editing is the longest part of the whole project. You can make preparations ahead of time to ease that process. You can have templates set ahead of time. Bumpers and intro should always be the same and should always be available to be used. This not only will save you time when editing your videos, but will also help your audience familiarize with your channel. During the preparation period, the way you're going to edit your videos should be a priority. Remember, editing is what allows you to show your audience the final product. You should pay close attention to it. If you don't have a roadmap for how you want to edit your YouTube videos, this can turn into a longer process, which can make you to cut corners and the final product may not look like you intended to. Review your project. Even though at this point you are pretty much done with your project, there is nothing worse than receiving a call from a friend telling you that you misspelled something in your video, like this. Or that some image don't match what you're talking about in your videos. Or even worse, a potential subscriber commenting on your video about your mistake. That only means one thing. You are going to have to delete your video from YouTube and go back and redo that part again. Bonus tip! Bonus tip, notification bell. First of all, you need to activate the notification bell of my channel to follow along my progress and compare it to yours and see if you or I need improvement. Most importantly, you need to activate the notification bell of every successful YouTube creator you can because they deal on a daily basis with a lot of valuable data only they can get due to the traffic volume on their respective channel. SEO is the mother of all data for YouTubers. In the future, I will make a video about SEO since this is a very complex subject. But in the meantime, know this. Since these creators eat and breathe SEO, they are doing half of the work for you. They only upload videos that are relevant and or trending, which means you should be doing videos about the same subject as long as it's related to your content. If you have any idea on how can I improve my game, let me know in the description box below. Before I go, I would like to give a shout out to El Mello and Miguel Angel Diaz. Thanks for being loyal subscribers. And I'll see you next time on The Water.